Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Prince Harry and the uh, lawsuit placed against the Daily Mail and other tabloids. All the irony. Do you remember when Meghan Markle sued the tabloids regarding the letter that she gave to her father, Thomas Markle, and that the tabloids had published? The tabloids said that they needed to have the names of the five friends of Meghan who went to People magazine to talk about her life between quotes and that letter. And they say that it's a matter of public interest that we knew the names, right? And also they say that the right to privacy of celebrities should not trump freedom of speech. Fast forward now, the same tabloids we were asking for the names of these people and more information about Meghan Markle private lives to be presented to court are asking the court to have certain reporting restrictions imposed on the case. They're asking for the court to prevent Harry and the co-accusers from naming 73 journalists and executives that they believe were involved in that hacking scandal. Funnily enough, now they're trying to prevent people from having information about this case because they know that public opinion will be against them if they learn that they have been bugging people's houses, going to hospitals to get people's health details, right? And now they're saying that, oh no, we should not name the people who were involved or who Harry and the rest of the claimants thought were involved in that case. The tablets are doing everything in their power to prevent Harry and Elton John and the rest of celebrities to release some details about the case, claiming that the case will make it difficult for them and the people who are involved in that case to get a fair trial, which is very strange because they were arguing the opposite when it was about Meghan Markle. So you see how hypocritical it is here. And the judge agreed to that. And also what they're trying to do now is to have this lawsuit thrown out because they're saying that the Daily Mail, Mail Online and parent company were not involved in that scandal that happened in 2013. It's funny that they're claiming human rights in order to retain information and not give that to the public. Let me know what you think. Hope you liked the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new